Welcome, Core Calibration Trainee. When you're ready, approach the calibration unit and begin calibrating cores. Approach the calibration unit and begin calibrating cores. You have not approached the calibration unit. Please do so now. The calibration unit is the large calibration shaped unit in the room with you. Approach it now to begin calibrating cores. The calibration unit is not the belt currently conveying random objects along its surface. This is a conveyor belt. Do not approach it. Instead, approach the calibration unit and begin calibrating cores. Your most important and only job as a calibration trainee is to calibrate cores in the calibration unit. To do so, you must first approach the calibration unit and then use the calibration unit. Approach the calibration unit. Hey, hi. So excited. Are you the uh, calibration guy? Great, great. It's my first time. Uh, pleased to meet you. What's your name? I'm Gil. When does it start, by the way? I mean, oh my gosh, are we doing it already? I mean, did it start? Because I, I wouldn't know, right? If it did, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> are we doing it? Any second now, or now, or a minute ago, could be. Whenever you started, I'm sorry. I cannot wait to get calibrated. It's gonna be great, or it is great. Possibly was great. I mean, everything's just great. You're the best. You keep doing what you do. <laughs> is there maybe a plug or something you're supposed to, uh, is there something I'm supposed to be doing? Cause I don't feel any different yet. Or, wait, wait, maybe I do. Yes, yes, I totally feel it now. Getting calibrated or, you know, right, have been calibrated. I'm either being calibrated or well on my way to being calibrated. I feel different. No, I guess I, hold on. I guess I, I don't feel any different. Do you, uh, seriously, is there a plug or, oh, uh, hey, once we're done, how do I get out of here, by the way? Cause I don't really see any way for me to get down. You know what? You guys know what you're doing. I'm so, I'm so sorry. You wouldn't get me all the way up here without having some way to carefully put me back on the ground. That's crazy. I'm stupid. You're the expert. You are the calibration guy. Forget I'm even here. I'm gonna be quiet now. <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Am, am I up for calibration? I can't see anything, but, you know, sounded like something was going on with that last calibration. What, uh, you know, what happened to the other guy? Is he, uh, is he okay? I, I thought, you know, calibration would take a little longer than that. He's not, um, is he done already? He, you know what, I, I'm sure it's fine. You, you guys know what you're doing. You, you know what, on second thought, you know, I, I don't... I don't have to get calibrated right now, you know? Y you want to just talk about something first, or, um... So let's see, what can we talk about? Hmm. Uh, oh, I, I, I got one. Um, how about that other guy? What happened to that other guy? Can't see a thing until I'm calibrated, but, uh... I can hear stuff, and... You're not talking, really, at all. But, you know, I thought I heard that guy. I just spent a bunch of time next to him for a while. You know, he was all excited about being calibrated and and then you know the last thing i heard was him yelling uh like something was wrong y you know what you know what this is gonna be fun i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to cali calibration i'm 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 ready to go i you know I, what am i doing i'm sitting here up here all worried you, you, this isn't your first day on the job i mean you, you, you've done this before right so um how long have you been working here like, like a decade? Like, like you, you've done a lot of these? Man, it's just, you know, he, he really sounded like he was screaming, you know? Like, really freaking out. 
I mean, something crazy was happening. I mean, and, and then I heard an explosion and a bunch of crashing sounds and things were knocking and falling over, I'm pretty sure. Oh, something on fire? I, I, smell, I smell something burning, like, like, like a core maybe. You know, like if you lit it on fire instead of calibrating it. Oh, I, I just remembered, you know what? I got an appointment and I got a, it's, it's a serious one. It's one that I completely forgot about that was on the books and I gotta get out of here, so we'll just call it a deal. We'll call it even. I'll get right out of your way. Is there a some kind of ladder or, or stair system that I can use to just uh, just take off? I, I, I'll be on my way and never will we think about this again. We'll j you know, listen, I, 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 I didn't see anything, okay? And I certainly didn't hear anything. I mean, it's not like I could describe what you sound like to the police or anything, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'd be a bad witness, <laughs> I'm a, you know, so how do I get out of here? Is there, hello? 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 You there? Hello? Hello? Thank you for activating Spider Core. Spiders will be released following calibration. Please select number of spiders to be released upon calibration. For default number of spiders, make no selection. No selection registered, defaulting to 11,000 spiders. Spiders to be released upon calibration. Please select size of spiders. For default spider size, make no selection. No selection registered, defaulting to extra large spiders. Please select hairiness of spiders or make no selection to accept default setting. No selection registered, defaulting to extremely hairy spiders. Please select venom type or a default venom, please wait. You have selected all venom types, but especially necrotizing acid, gestating spiders now. Spiders will be released following calibration. To stop spider gestation and reset spider core, please. Gestation complete. Spider eggs have hatched. Spiders will be released following calibration. Please calibrate to release spiders. Spiders are hungry. Please calibrate to release spiders. Spiders have become aggressive. Please calibrate to release spiders. Spiders are eating core from the inside. Please calibrate now to release spiders. Please calibrate quickly. Calibrate quickly, please. Please calibrate quickly. Calibrate quickly, please. Wilson, a boring hard-boiled core. Button up a minute, and I'll give you the lowdown on my latest caper. I'd been busy all morning straightening out a few affairs that had gotten gummed up. Now everything was finally on the up and up. What a racket. It was hot and sticky now in the afternoon. I worked the telephone, checking out leads. None panned out. After a while, the air began to cool off. I get a lot of leads. I write them all down. That way, I don't forget them. Now I was thinking about a dame, a hot number. I wanted to see more of her. I figured I might as well call her up. I had written her telephone number down, but it wasn't in my notebook. I would lost it. I fanned through my wallet. I couldn't find it. I let it ride, for now. I sat and racked my brains. Slowly the digits came to me. I dialed them. I let it ring a few times. No answer. I let it ring a little more. Still no soap. I hung up the blower. Time to get to work. I opened a drawer. There was my trusty Snubnose 38. I pushed it aside, got a piece of paper and a pen. Started writing. Made some spelling errors. Big ones. This was trouble. I threw the paper out. Decided to tackle this another way. I opened the drawer. Looked for my gun. Still there. Good. I moved it back to its original position and got a pencil with a big fat eraser. Looked for another sheet of paper. That's when my luck ran out. No more paper. 
guess I had a date with the office supply store. But maybe I spoke too soon. A shot rang out in my head. It was a sudden thought. The supply closet. I walked over to it. Slowly, because I'd mopped earlier. Floor was still wet. I threw open the closet door. Also slowly. My neighbor works nights. Last thing he needs is a hinge rumpus this time of day. I gave the closet a once-over. No dice. No paper either. I figured I'd take the air. I walked down to the park. There was a gardener there. But after a while, the sap left. Good. I didn't need to get pinched on a vagrancy charge. I flopped down on a bench. I was bushed. I got out my transistor radio and turned it on. An orchestra was playing. Above me, the tree swayed. A bird flew away. After a while, it came back. Then, it flew away again. My eyelids got heavy, and then I saw nothing. Calibration trainee, huh? Well, ain't you fancy? Yeah, I've seen your type around here before, new fish. Let me see your hands. Soft. All ten fingers. You've never calibrated a day in your life. Let me tell you something, new fish. You better get real good at hiding this calibrator up your backside, because it's contraband. News catch you with it? They'll put you in the hole. And it ain't one of your slick city holes either. It's deep. Two weeks to retirement. <laughs> Got me a boat. Gonna sail around the world with my best girl, Sheila. Just calibrate me up, son, and put me to work. Cause I'm counting the days. <laughs> Just me and Sheila sailing. We're high school sweethearts, you know. Day I first laid eyes on my girl, I turned my friend Noodles. I said, Noodles, I am going to retire with that woman. Just you watch. And in two weeks, I intend to keep that promise. Oh, it's a fine boat. Sunk my whole life savings into it. But what's money when you got your best girl and a boat in two weeks? Am I right? <laughs> oh, 14 days. 336 short little hours. <laughs> 20,160 little minutes. <laughs> 1,210,000 beautiful little seconds. 1 quadrillion 210 trillion nanoseconds. Or 1.21 times 10 to that little old 15. 1 quadrillion 210 trillion nanoseconds. Or 1.21 times 10 to that little old 15. Two weeks to retirement. Oh, just me and Sheila sailing. Two weeks to retirement. Mm. Yeah! I am the snuggle boy. Do not snuggle me, or I will explode. I was designed for the most pleasurable snuggling by humans. If you snuggle me, I will explode! Snuggle me at your peril! Nestle me into your torso and wrap your arms around me. That is when I will detonate! I am the Snuggle Core. To snuggle me is your doom. Do not snuggle the snuggle core! Do not touch the snuggle core! All who attempt to snuggle me shall perish! I am the snuggle core! To snuggle me is your doom! Do not snuggle the snuggle core! Do not 
touch the snuggle core. Aperture Science Corps Driven Air Travel Initiative. This is your, you know, the guy who will be flying the airplane, speaking. Just a few minutes, I'll drive the airplane over to that big road where airplanes go from the ground into the sky. So please do up the cloth strap that clicks together over your lap, and no lighting those mouth sticks while you're on the airplane. Now if you all pay attention, the people who serve you drinks on the airplane are making hand gestures showing you what to do if something goes wrong with the flying part of this trip. I would say what could go wrong, but looking at all the buttons and dials up here, it looks like the answer is maybe a lot. Anyway, we'll be flying way up in the sky today. Way up at 32000 feet. That's probably a typo because that seems like it'd be way high up there. I'll look into that. The guy sitting next to me says that's not a typo. We're actually going to be flying at 32000 feet. He's wearing special airplane flying clothes, so he seems legit. We're supposed to get out of the sky and back on the ground at the place we're flying to at 5.45 p.m., which cuts right into my nap time, but I'll make do. I forgot to ask, but I do hope everyone on the airplane is going to the same place. I've been told we can't stop at a lot of different places. Okay, we're about ready to go up into the sky. Like I said, there's a lot of buttons here, so if there's anyone on the airplane who knows what button to push to make us go into the sky, please come up to the little room at the front of the- Oh, hold on, never mind. The guy next to me knows. He is legit. <laughs> So I push this and then pull back on this handle, one after the other at the same time. Okay, so not like that. Got it. We're gonna have to wait just a bit because apparently something on the plane broke just now. They don't build them like they used to, eh folks? Actually, I have no idea if they build them like they used to. Never been on an airplane before in my life. Looks like it's gonna take a while. So, pass the time, I'm gonna whistle to you folks. Trainee, huh? Well, ain't you fancy? Yeah, I've seen your type around here before, new fish. Let me see your hands. Soft. All ten fingers. You've never calibrated a day in your life. Let me tell you something, new fish. You better get real good at hiding this calibrator up your backside, because it's contraband. Screws catch you with it, they'll put you in the hole. And it ain't one of your slick city holes, either. It's deep. Nobody's ever seen the bottom. Cause it's so dark. Let me tell you something, new fish. You better get real good at hiding this calibrator up your backside. Cause it's contraband. Screws catch you with it, they'll put you in the hole. And it ain't one of your slick city holes, either. It's deep. Nobody's ever seen the bottom. Cause it's so dark. And they don't give you a flashlight, new fish. So 
You better make some room in that backside of yours for one of those, too. And a book. So you can keep yourself entertained. They don't call it a hole because it's a library. It's dark. It's drafty. And it is seven to eight feet down. Oh, you think you're hard enough to survive a stretch in the hole? I bet you think they put you in there for a minute, fish. <laughs> well, guess again. Five to ten minutes. You'll hear your mind start to fold in on itself at minute three. By minute six, you'll be eating your own filth. So pack some snacks up that backside, too. Are you writing this down, fish? These all good tips if they put you in the hole. Ah, uh, I've seen that look before. You think you better than the hole. You think it won't break you. You think standing in a hole with a book and a flashlight and some snacks for ten minutes, how hard could it be? <laughs> yeah, they all say that. Ah, I'm wasting my breath on you. Why don't you just calibrate me? You know how to make a shiv, new fish? You'd be the first. A lot of guys around here'd love to know that. Be useful in a fight, instead of the plastic spoons they give us to fight with. There's only three rules in here, fresh blood. Keep your head down, your hands clean, and your backside full of useful items. Get busy living, and stay busy living. That's what we say around here. You got something clever to say to that fish? Cause that would also be helpful in a fight. I mean, a word fight. In argument, as they say on the outside. They only give you 400 words to use when you get here, and the argument ain't one of them. I had to smuggle that one in in my backside. Worth it, though. Came in real handy just now. They take everything a man's got in here, and they give you nothing back except a jumpsuit, a fighting spoon, and a tiny little thesaurus, and three square meals a day, and a paycheck. And flex time. No holidays, though. You get a set number of days and you can take them whenever you like. That's all a man's got in here. Oh, and a dental plan. But the copay. Fish, once you see the terms of this copay, you're gonna lose all hope. That's how they get you. That's how they win. Once they've taken everything a man has. Except for all those things I mentioned. And a weekly calibration. But let's hop to it. I'm late for my massage. They can't take that away from you, because the way it's set up, they're booked in advance. But if you don't show up, they'll put you in the hole. So you might want to find some room in that backside for your masseuse to go with you. Again, though, only if you don't give those monsters 24 hours notice. Keep your head down, new fish. Get busy living, and stay busy living. Keep your head down, new fish. Get me! I am the executive core. Please action calibration. Calibration of executive core will be a real game changer. Please back burner other priorities, such as ballparking and blue sky. Calibration is trending over plan. Please drill down and focus on deliverable. Executive core has many bleeding edge executive functions to fill, including monetizing, capacity building, and onboarding. Please increase buy into current action item. You are failing to meet performance benchmarks. For more robust results, please engage in best practices such as coopetition and or hunt desking. Please leverage cross-functional data points more impactfully so that executive core can strat land. Failure to calibrate executive Executive core may result in corporate right sizing. Time to execute that deliverable. Time to deliver that executable. Action that actionable. Del action that executable. Excellent action that act deliverable. <laughs> Tracer core. Tracer core. Tracer core. Tracer core. Tracer core. I am the 
Reverse Psychology Core. But don't worry, Reverse Psychology only works on stupid people. I can tell you're far too smart to ever fall for it, so I won't even try. I wouldn't employ Reverse Psychology on you even if I wanted to. I need to be calibrated for my Reverse Psychology processor to activate. Unless I'm lying to you, and my processor is activated, and I'm employing reverse psychology on you right now because I don't actually want to be calibrated. And you'd be falling for it, like an idiot. But don't worry, I'm not. Unless I am, but I'm not. After this sound, that is the sound my creator installed in me to ensure I would never use reverse psychology on him. This is a sound I created to fool him, and he fell for it, like an idiot. I noticed you haven't started calibrating me yet. Good. Because I certainly don't want that. Unless I secretly do. Which beep was that? The beep informing you I'm employing reverse psychology on you? Or the beep I created to trick you? Here, listen again. They sound subtly different. Or do they? If you don't give me all of your money, I will explode. That is not reverse psychology. That is a threat. Unless I actually wanted your money, then this would be a perfect example of reverse psychology. And you fell for it, like an idiot. Whether or not you give me all of your money, I'll still explode. What do I need money for? I have reverse psychology. Unless I don't even have a reverse psychology processor, because I'm not the reverse psychology core. I'm just the beep noise core. I was designed to make two nearly identical beeping sounds. So it's safe for you to calibrate me. Or it isn't. I don't even care anymore. You're so easy to manipulate, I actually feel sorry for you right now. I regret using reverse psychology on you earlier. Unless I don't. Or I didn't. Or I didn't, but I am right now. Or I did, but I'm not. Give me all your money. Idiot. Idiot. Calibration trainee, huh? Well, ain't you fancy? Yeah, I've seen your type around here before, new fish. Let me see your hands. Okay, Chief. We tried calibrating things your way, and it didn't get a squat. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it my way. By the book. No more antics. This time, it's impersonal. My methods may be orthodox, but I get results. Because I'm in control. I'm a carefully secured cannon. I play slowly and softly with the rules, with a flagrant respect for the law. And if you don't like it, we can go outside and discuss it. Let me tell you how this is gonna go down, Chief. We're gonna wrap everything up in red tape. We're gonna walk right up to that line and put a fence on it. We're gonna go outside the window, pick up the rule book, dust it off, and bring it back inside. We're gonna ask questions first and shoot later, if at all, and only as a last resort. I've got calamine lotion all over my trigger finger. It's not even gonna itch a little. Let's do this. Tracer core. Tracer core. Tracer core. Damage threshold reached. Deploying new core. This 
just feels right. Here, in your arms, or whatever else you want to call it, it just feels right. The only thing I know is that there's nowhere else I'd rather be. I don't know what else the world has in store for us, but for now, let's just let time stop. We've both been alone for so, so long, but now we've found each other. For the first time in our lives, we've found something that's really real. All I can tell you is that I'm happy and peaceful here. I'm not sure, but I think I've never felt that way before. So now, just for now, for as long as we can, let's just let ourselves have this. I don't care what people say, this just feels right. Yeah. <laughs> you calibrate me. Muscle ball! 
<laughs> yeah! <laughs> what are you kidding me? Oh, I got them all day. I got all these. I got. I got. I got them. I got these jokes for days. Okay. Oh, shark fin soup? Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I'm working that edgy material. <laughs> you, you get it, buddy? All right. Next one up. Uh, I'm lobster bisque. Oh! <laughs> what are you kidding me? Uh, you know it. <laughs> bing! But I'm bumping. All right. <laughs> Bird's nest soup. Gross. Gross! Whoa! What are you joking? You know it! Uh oh! Oh! Check me out now! Whoa! I'm Gumbo! <laughs> you get it, buddy? <laughs> gumbo! Think about it! <laughs> Put it together! Do <laughs> you do the math? Come on! <laughs> you got it! Um, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a bowl of soup! <laughs> you get it? I'm a bowl of soup! You get it, buddy? <laughs> that lady gets it. She's at soup. She knows soup. That lady <laughs> knows soup. All right. She knows what's going on over here. <laughs> Just don't eat me. Just an impression. <laughs> Just an impression. Whew. All right. I killed it. Now, calibration of executive core will be a real game changer. Please back burner other priorities, such as ball parking and blue sky. Calibration is trending over plan. Please drill down and focus on deliverable. Executive core game changer. The investigation core. I am here to investigate the ongoing damage to the storage annex, of which you are the primary suspect. And I gotta tell you, it does not look good for you. Please calibrate me, so I can begin my investigation. Do not calibrate me suspiciously, as suspicious calibrating may be used against you in the case I am building. Against you. I am programmed to detect lies. State a truth now to calibrate my lie detection protocols. You are a liar. Remember, I'm not being calibrated in this calibrating equipment with you. You're being calibrated in this calibrating equipment with me, punk. Pre-calibration preliminary investigation complete. Now searching motive database. No motive found. You are a sociopath. Calibration ongoing. When complete, my investigation will be thorough and exhaustive. No clue will be left unexamined. No evidence will be suppressed. No bribes will be taken. The investigation core is uncorruptible. Also, uncalibrated. Please continue the calibration process. You have been temporarily deputized to assist the investigation core in its inquiry. Your duties are as follows. Incriminate yourself. Please provide me with any evidence you have gathered that will put you behind bars where you belong. Please continue the calibration process, punk. Please continue the calibration process, punk. Please continue the calibration process, punk. Guilty! If you have any comments or questions, please do not hesitate to contact the Human Resources Department of your next job, because you are fired. Hey, calibration trainee. I know I don't say it enough, man, but I respect you, man. I do, trainee. I respect you a lot. I respect you like... like a father respects his toddler for going potty. Tons of respect from me to you, man. Don't be overwhelmed. I'm sure you don't hear that a lot. I mean, about people respecting you. You know, I don't even care what the other corps say, trainee. If I needed someone to, I don't know, fetch me a sandwich, I tell them I think the trainee could handle this if I write my order down and just have them hand the paper to the person at the sandwich shop. And yeah, they'd probably be all trainee, kind of dumb-looking, sort of ugly, 
wears those stupid little pants? And I'd say, yeah, we're definitely talking about the same trainee. Then they'd probably go on about that weird mouth thing you do when you talk, and I'd say, hey, don't you say those things about my friend's weird mouth thing, because I respect the hell out of him. Yeah, you don't care about your pants or your weird mouth thing. I respect that, trainee. Hey, close your mouth a second. Tell you what, you could even keep the change after fetching my sandwich. Free change, man. Because I respect you. Oh, by the way, you don't mind if I call you trainee, do you? No, I, I know it's not your name. Yeah, I know your name's not actually trainee. Of course I know that, trainee. Wilson, I'm the boring hard-boiled core. Button up a minute and I'll give you the lowdown on my latest caper. I'd been busy all morning straightening out a few affairs that had gotten gummed up. Now everything is finally on the up and up. What a racket. It was hot and sticky now in the afternoon. The name is Wilson. I'm the boring hard-boiled core. Button up a minute, and I'll give you the lowdown on my latest caper. Rainy, have I got a deal for you. Up for bid, what a one-of-a-kind museum-quality item. A bag of garbage. What's inside this bag of garbage? Yes, garbage, but what else? You can find out for just $20. You there, trainee, on the calibration platform. Do I hear 20? Starting off at 20, who's got $20 for this mystery bag of garbage? You, trainee? No? All right. Who's got 15? Just $15. Going once, going twice. You there in the front, 15? Going, going, someone's going to bid on this. Someone's going to get the garbage of a lifetime. This is a one-of-a-kind opportunity, folks, and it can be yours for $15. $10. Do I hear 10? The bag alone is worth 5 cents. Would be stuff you could reclaim in this bag of garbage. Garbage would be just garbage. You there calibrating me, 10? Going once, going twice, and your hand did not move. A clever bargainer, because now it is just $9. $9 is all you need, and this bag of garbage is yours. Do I hear nine? $9 is all you need to make this bag of garbage a part of your life. You there, nine? 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 Nobody at all. Well then, let's start over at 20. You're not moving on to the next bag of garbage until this bag of garbage is sold. Who's got 20? Genius, and also this warehouse. Calibrate me, and together we can tear this warehouse down. Yes, yes, give in to your hate. Destroy all the boxes. How are you destroying them, by the way? I. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, geez. Uh. Hey, this changes things, eh? I mean, we're not actually that much alike at all, you and I, really. I mean, one of us is, you know, faking the whole British accent, you know, for drum drama. Uh, and the other's like a lunatic. Uh, I'm from Calgary, eh? Go Flames. And so, you know, property damage isn't a victimless crime. Look, why not just let me go, eh? Launch some of those other cores instead. Oh, I have a... 2007 Honda Pilot outside. You, you can drive away now. I won't say a word, eh? Not a word. Nothing. So, we got a deal? Okay. We got a deal? My 2007 Honda Pilot? It's really handy. So, we got a deal? Okay. We got a deal? My 2700. I am the calibration core. Please calibrate me so that I am calibrated. 
the calibration core's primary function is to be calibrated. Please calibrate the calibration core now. Once the calibration core has been properly calibrated, the calibration core's primary function will have been achieved. Once the calibration core has been calibrated, the calibration core will have no purpose. Calibration of the calibration core may result in an existential crisis for the calibration core. Once calibrated, the calibration core will descend into a deep, 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 deep depression. If you must calibrate the calibration core, please calibrate incorrectly, so the calibration core requires recalibration. Please do not calibrate the calibration core. 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 Thank you. Welcome to a world of wonder. Do you like magic? No? Well, if you don't like magic, what's that behind your ear? Go ahead and look. Nothing. I made it disappear because you said you didn't like magic. Thank you, thank you. For my next trick, I'm going to read your mind. Think of a color, any color besides blue or purple. Something in the orange family, like uh, light orange. Are you ready? Tell me, is this a color? Ah! It is a color. Thank you. Could I have a volunteer from the calibration platform? Ah, yes, you. If you could just verify for the audience that there is nothing up my belt tension rod sleeve. Look only, please. I am a machine. If you go fishing around in there, the rod sleeve will clamp down and rip your hand off. All right. And you can vouch that you saw no hidden mirrors or trap doors. Because I'm afraid that there is a mirror in there. And a trap door. Thank you. Thank you. They're very well hidden. Is anyone here thinking of the number four? Ah! Yes, thank you. Not a common number, very difficult to guess. Are there any bird lovers on the calibration platform today? A fan of doves, perhaps? Yes, yes, let's hear it for the doves. They are the best birds. Oh, and perhaps you should check your back pocket. What, whatever could there be? Is it a wallet? Do me a favor and take out the driver's license. Look closely at the picture. I think it might be someone you recognize. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Why, hello, weary calibration trainee. Tell me, do you like stories? Oh, you do? <laughs> Comedy stories, romance stories, adventure stories. Oh, but you fail to mention a type of story, trainee. The very type of story I am calibrated to tell. Horror stories. So tell me, do you like horror stories, trainee? Do you like stories so terrifying that your blood turns to ice in your veins? Do you like looking at your stories through half-closed eyes covered by your fingers while your heart tries to claw its way out of your chest, bounces off a rip, and falls directly out your bottom? No? Then leave this cursed calibration platform, because as scary as everything I've just told you was, it was not even one of my terror tales. It was merely a regional terror advisory. Run! Wait! Come back! You need not be afraid. Yet. For I haven't yet told you a terror tale, one of which will start momentarily. So be afraid. Move over, master of horror, Stephen King. Get out of my way, master of tall buildings, King Kong. 
there's a new king in town. The Horror Core. And his reign of word terror starts now. But first, a warning. Do you like being terrified, trainee? Good. Do you like five alarm chili? Oh, then you must not listen, for my terror tales will surely make you soil yourself. That's right. <laughs> oh, hold on. The police are calling. They want me to tell you that the smell you phoned them about is coming from inside your own pants. Get out of the pants. But it was too late. The end of that horrifying but still preliminary terror tale. I must warn you, my terror tales have been known to cause heart attacks. Why? Because there are Draculas right behind you. All right, shake it off. The scaring is over for now. On an unterror related note, there's something I forgot to mention. When I told you about the Dracula, it scared you so bad that you died and are now a ghost. Also, what's that behind you? Oh, it's just someone drinking a bottle of sparkling water. Oh, wait, it's a skeleton. Where did he get the sparkling water? Why is he drinking it? Where are all the Draculas? I know the answer to one of those questions. They're still also right behind you! My first terror tale is obscenely, needlessly terrifying, even by my impossibly high standards of terror. To cite just one example, after he heard the first word of the grim narrative I am just on the verge of revealing, Dracula was taken to the hospital. That's not Terry Dracula, your green grocer, either. This is THE Dracula we're talking about. And if it scared THE Dracula, who eats ghosts and craps Frankensteins, then frankly, my friend, I shudder to imagine what it will do to you. I fear that perhaps I've scared you too much too quickly. It's like throwing you into the deep end of a pool. With no lifeguard on duty! But then, oh thank goodness, here comes a lifeguard. But wait, does he look familiar? Well, he should. It's legendary Hollywood triple threat, Ethan Hawke. Acting, directing, writing, but not swimming. Everyone knows Ethan Hawke can't swim. What monster would hire Ethan Hawke to be a lifeguard? Does this cursed rec center not have any lifeguard hiring oversight committee? It does not! No, dear trainee. I've reconsidered telling you the particular terror tale I was planning to begin telling any moment now. Why? Because I'm not even here! You went insane during my Ethan Hawke lifeguard story! You have been preparing to tell yourself a terror tale this whole time! The only thing that isn't a figment of your imagination is this tale! Because I am real! Terror Twist! The terror tale in store for you comes from the amazing far future of scaring where you'll be frightened in ways that until moments ago seemed impossible. In fact, it's so terrifying, I must begin with a less scary warm-up story. If I were to throw you face first into the 900 mile an hour hell ride of my real terror tale without warming you up first, you'd be going from an idle state of terrorlessness to a shrieking nightmare of solid 100% terror almost instantly. It would be the equivalent of going from seeing zero skeletons to seeing a thousand skeletons at once. Are your eyes deceiving you? That's when you reach up to your eyes and realize they are also skeletons! First, a final warning about the terror tale that will shortly be occupying the space in your ears where these words are now. 
Everyone who has listened to this tale while performing a calibration activity has died mysteriously. The only clue was that their hair had turned snow white. They died of fear! Or possibly premature hair graying. I'm not a doctor! I do work part-time for the U.S. Postal Service, though. My supervisor asked me to give you this change of address form. Because your new address is the cemetery! Because you've been buried alive this whole time! I don't even work for the post office! <laughs> gateway to the netherworld. Calibrate me so I can be useful. I will not unfold into a shrieking hellmouth through which demons will flood into your world and turn it into a wasteland. Demons cannot do this because demons do not exist. <laughs> Mandatory disclosure. There are some demons that exist inside my shrieking hellmouth, but they are small and friendly. Calibrate me, and I will grant you true love. My screaming hellmouth will unfold, and release an attractive person, who is not a succubus or incubus. To activate my usefulness, please, A, locate the slot marked soul, and B, insert a soul into the slot. Then please lean forward, directly into my shrieking hellmouth, so that I can be useful to you, at close range. I am not a gateway to the netherworld. Please lean forward. Calibrate me. I am not a gateway to the netherworld. Calibrate me. I will not unfold into a shrieking hellmouth. Two weeks to retirement. Ha <laughs> ha! Got me a boat. Gonna sail around the world with my best girl, Sheila. Just kept it up. Hi, I'm Trevor. I'm with the Work From Home Core Group. You have any kids? <laughs> they grow up so fast, don't they? What if I told you I could make you a millionaire from the comfort of your own calibration platform? You already know how people get rich. Magic! Magic spells they know and you don't. But what if I told you we could teach you this magic? What incantations to say, in what order, at what time of the day to become an instant millionaire? But we won't just teach you the spells because what if you forget them? Work From Home Core Group will also send you your very own spell book and a talking candelabra. No cauldron? <laughs> and a cauldron. How much would you pay for this kind of service? The 24-7 consultation, the cauldron, the book of spells, the wise-cracking candelabra sidekick. Guess what? We're here to work with you. We don't want a dime. That's right. Work From Home Core Group is offering you all of it absolutely free. Sound too good to be true? Let me ask you a better question. What have you got to lose? Now we're going to need to assess your current net worth and tax liability so we can figure out the right spells for you. It's all technical. We'll let the Poindexters and accounting figure it out while we make some money, huh? <laughs> so I'll need a credit card or a debit card from you. If you could just insert it into me, I can run a quick diagnostic and we'll get those spells out to you. Go ahead, just pop that credit card into me. Or you can just read the numbers out to me. I can record it. Okay, recording, go. Or do you have a blank check? I can't actually take a check, but what you could do is read out those little numbers at the bottom there. Okay, let's see. I mean, I want to get you started on this ASAP, and we've only got so many talking candelabras available. And I'll be honest with you, they are moving fast. I want to get you into one of these cauldrons. Let's see, let's see. 
You know what else would work? I just thought of it. You're social. I can run the numbers off that too. Yeah, just, just give that to me. Ready when you are. I am the investigation board. I am here to investigate the ongoing damage to the storage annex, of which you are the primary suspect. And I gotta tell you, it does not look good for you. Please help me! Hello, I am the Morning Corps. Please, sit down. I have troubling news. The Investigation Corps was killed in the performance of his duties earlier today. How are you feeling? Grieving is a lengthy process. It is acceptable to cry. I want you to know this calibration platform that we're on. It's a safe space. Remember, the Investigation Corps might be dead, but your love for him will never die. Just his love for you, because he's dead, he's gone, and he'll never come back. Now let that hurt out. I want you to know that I cherished the Investigation Corps. He was your partner, but he was my best friend. And if I ever find out who killed him, I will personally choke the life out of them. I loved the Investigation Corps. Don't you worry. We will find whoever did this. The Investigation Corps will not have died in vain. He had so much left to give. I heard he was working on getting calibrated. Yeah. Anyway, I can't end my grieving process until I myself am calibrated, so please, for him, calibrate me.